right, what up people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite YouTube couple, Claire and Drew. And today, we're gonna see if we have what it takes to avoid going to detention. Have you ever been to detention? No. I feel like we've asked this on this yes. channel before. Cause didn't we read detention slips? Yeah, 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 yeah. So pretty much, Claire Bear is gonna take over the video from here and explain to you how this is gonna go. So we found a BuzzFeed quiz that takes you through a scenario. I don't know the exact scenario because I haven't done it yet, hmm. but it takes you through a scenario and pretty much by like whatever you choose that could make you go to detention or could not make you go to detention. Ooh. So Andrew and I are both gonna take the quiz individually, not together because we wanna see which one of us would avoid going to detention and which one of us would go to detention. I think Andrew will go to detention, I think I won't. But you have to answer honestly. You can't answer like you're going to avoid it. You have okay. to answer how you would yeah, do yeah. it, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us know in the comment section below who you think is going to uh, detention, I almost said prison, and let us know who you think so. I mean, we both easily could do, you know? Both of us could be going to detention too, That's but true. there's only one way to find out. Let's go. Okay, it says earlier today, Miss Finkelstein, the word. Finkelstein or Finkelstein? Stein, I think. Stein? Stein? Miss Finkelstein. Let's, I don't know. I like Stein. Stein. Miss Finkelstein, the worst teacher ever, gave you detention. She kind of looks like the worst teacher ever. <laughs> what do I do? Punch her? Like, is it saying, what do I do or what? No, they're just saying, this is a teacher that gave you detention. Oh, yeah, she looks like a douche. Wow, that's really inconvenient for you because tonight is the spring fling. Ooh, did you ever go to the spring fling? No. And your one chance to get with Taylor, that cutie in your second. Ah, uh, Taylor, no. You only have one choice, sneak out of detention, don't get caught, or damage school property or else you won't be able to go to Spring Fling. I feel like I read that wrong, but whatever. Yeah, okay, wait, so this is a little confusing because it's kind of like, it's pretty much you're in detention, but the Spring Fling's tonight and you want to go, so you have to sneak out of detention? Huh? I guess. I feel like we did not approach this in the right way. I think this has given you a scenario and you have to, so it's setting up the story, right? So you get into detention yeah. and you really want to go to the Spring Fling and you got to try to escape detention without damaging anything. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just let it play out. Yeah. Oh, you get a text mm. from Taylor. Taylor says, Hey, are you coming tonight? Okay, here is where we have our first question. Taylor just texted you, what will you respond? I would say, I'm definitely gonna try. Okay. That's for sure what I would say. Okay. I'm gonna say, if she's as hot as they claim she is, totally, I'm gonna be there right next to you, baby. You tuck your phone into your pocket and start planning an exit strategy. You'll have to distract Miss Finkelstein. Do we say Finkelstein or Finkelstein? I think Finkelstein. <laughs> and either get out of the window or sneak out of the classroom door. I think I'd probably try to sneak out the classroom door. Okay, okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna try the window because they might forget that you're even there, you know? Like, okay. right? I'm going window, boom. Mm. You're a brave soul. The detention room is on the third floor of the school. Frick, you need to strategize this before you execute your plan. What are you going to use to get down? Mm. Try to scale it, ask people for their hoodies. See, I don't think the hoodies ever work like they do in movies. It could, I've tied some knots and some clothing and I can't get those things done. So I think I gotta try to scale it. Yeah. Can I do both? Can I use the... I'm trying to scale it. You wait till Miss Finkelstein finishes her Metamucil drink and then... <coughs> Sorry. And then runs into the bathroom. You carefully climb out of the window and scale the ledge. You hear someone from detention shout, Pull the fire alarm and save us all. You've successfully made it to the second floor terrace. Do you run through the halls and out the front and continue down to the football field? I'm going to the football field. Why would I go through the halls if I have the option to go to the football field? Boom. Because your classmate wanted you to save them all. Screw them. Screw them. If I'm doing all this for Taylor, she's clearly worth it, okay? And hey, it's not my fault you got in detention, little Timmy, okay? Get out of my face. Uh, you try to make your way stealthily, Lee, Lee, under the bleachers, but you whack your head on a low beam and run into Gilbert and Mason who are secretly making out. They stop making out and turn to you. Hey! Are you in my AP art class? Ask Gilbert. I'm gonna say, no. I don't know what you're talking about, Gilbert. I don't know what you're talking about, Gilbert. I swear I've seen you somewhere. Gilbert is being very loud and the head coach on the football, or on the field is starting to look for the source of the noise. You respond. <laughs> the source of the noise. Sorry. 
<laughs> sorry, okay? For the source of the noise. I'm sorry. Okay, fine, I'm in your fourth period. You got me. Will you just cool it off and let me pass? Detention. What? Oh no, Gilbert started hollering and about how there was someone under the bleachers that was trying to escape detention. You get dragged back to Miss Finkelstein's room and you couldn't make it to the spring fling. Gilbert's a little douche. Sorry, Gilbert, if you're watching this, but I'm just saying if Gilbert, uh, if this was me in real life, Gilbert, you're getting an elbow right to the eyeball. Mm. Miss Finkelstein is going over all the detention rules. She honestly is the worst. It's time for an escape plan. Pick a distraction. Raise your hand and say that you have to go to the bathroom or raise your hand and tell her you think you see her car getting towed. Mm. I think I would go with the go to the bathroom because like the car getting towed, like obviously she would go out and see that her car wasn't getting towed so it would be like really suspicious. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Miss Finkelstein, Stein, God, what did we say? Stein, Finkelstein. Like Frankenstein, but Finkelstein. Miss Finkelstein calls a hall monitor to escort you to the bathroom. Oh. Do hall monitors even work this late? <laughs> <laughs> What's more is that you've got the worst hall monitor, Liz, who takes their Liz. job way too seriously. Liz. 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 There's no Z. You don't say S as in Okay, Z. whatever. You have five minutes, she says. I'm not even gonna say her name. Do you go in and start making puke noises or do I go and make a mad dash, obviously make puke noises? Mm -hmm. We're just building the lie, building the lie, building the lie. Bingo, while you fake vomit, you see a window out the second story. Liz hears you and asks if you're okay. Think about how you want to play this. Mm. Say you're okay and try to climb out of the window. Mm. Tell Liz you want to go to the nurse. I think go to the nurse. Because like then from the nurse, then you could say that you're going back to the class and then the nurse is never gonna talk. You know, the nurse doesn't take a hall monitor. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna go to the nurse. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. You get to the clinic and find nurse Fiera. Why can't there just be simple names? Sorting band-aids. It's a weird hobby, but you don't judge. She asks what she can help you with. You pretend to have a fever because you know there's a window in the nurse's bathroom. Why the windows? That's adjacent to the student parking lot. Once you're in there, you try to get out of the window, but it's too high. Uh, get on the rickety chair in the corner and climb on it? No, because rickety makes noises. So we're gonna climb on the toilet. Wow. All right, you're able to get to the window, but the, the only opening is six inches. Yeah, honey, I can't fit through that. What are you going to do to get out? <laughs> Close. Close. Break the window, may, but make a lot of noise. Unscrew the hinges, but take a lot of time. Unscrew the hinges. Uh, you're in the bathroom. You could, like, say anything. Mm -hmm. I did it! I escaped. It says, sure, it was tedious, and I told you that I was going to just build and build and build on my lie. Unscrewing the hinges, but it was worth it because you are out of there. Of course, it'll be a nightmare going back to school on Monday, but you are not going to worry about that because it's time to go see Taylor at the spring. spring. I just don't get why Gilbert knew I was escaping detention. Like, no, he didn't. He just got you caught because he's a loud mouth. Snake. Freaking snake. Screw you, Gilbert. I hate you. So yeah, so clearly, um, uh, Claire wins. Uh, I was not supposed to, I mean, I'm never getting in prison, or in prison, in uh, detention anyways. Like, I'm a good person, I'm a good student. I think I might have went to the safe spot in elementary school like once for probably saying a funny joke. So if that's the worst thing I've done in school, sue me, okay? But Claire figured out the best way to do it, and if you guys want to get out of detention, fake sick. We will definitely link this quiz below so you guys can try it out and you guys have to leave a comment on whether or not you made it through detention because I feel like there's many scenarios mm -hmm. that could have been played here. Mm -hmm. Andrew's just dumb and took the risky scenario and I didn't and that's why I didn't get to Low key what I would do is I would, uh, was Miss Finkelstein would be looking the other way and I'd bop her in the back of the head, knock her out and run out. That's what I would do. I think that'd be a crime. <sighs> well, make sure before you guys leave to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment if you avoid detention. Yeah, and also if you have actually escaped detention in real life, Ooh, yeah. let us know how you've done it. Tell us that story. Maybe we should react to people escaping prison. I, I've always been obsessed with that. People escaping prison. I mean, I, obviously it's not a good thing when they escape prison, but like watching like real life prison escapes, like it's probably pretty difficult to escape prison in real life. That's and true. it's pretty interesting when they do because they like find like some weird ways, you know, yeah. like... Yeah, so that's all we got for you today, folks. You didn't say like and subscribe? I already did. Oh.
I said, make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and make oh. sure to comment. Oh, so yeah, make sure you smash that sub button. I know Claire already said it, but we kind of forgot. And like the video, and we'll see you guys in the freaking next one. Peace. Don't get put in detention, because detention is bad. Does that even make any sense? I, babe, I don't, I'm not an English teacher, okay? No, you're not.